So uh, it looks like we are ready to uh, add a layout. You can add a layout from the toolbar. You could also go up to view. Uh, you can also go up to view and layout and add a layout from here. Or you can go down to the tabbed area of the screen and pick on the plus. And this is actually my preferred way to add a layout. And when you pick on the plus, you get the option of adding uh, a new layout or importing a layout from another model, which we'll take a look at here uh, in one of the uh, other examples that we'll be doing. So I'm going to pick new layout. So let's get started here. And I'm going to give uh, the layout a name. And I'll call it Water Bottle. Water Bottle Design by Kyle. You'll find that when I'm typing, I usually have to stop talking in order to type, or I, I don't really type what I really want to type. So uh, anyway, we'll name the layout Water Bottle by Kyle, and we have our printer selected, and we have our sheet size, which uh, is uh, Ledger, which is 17 by 11. You can select Portrait and give the width a longer uh, dimension than the height, and you'll get the landscape portrait without selecting landscape. So that's kind of what we have uh, set here. Uh, you could also set it to uh, landscape and provide the, uh, the same dimensions. One of the other options we have is to create a layout with no details or to create a layout with details. And we're going to be creating a couple of these. So for the first one, I'm going to pick OK and create a blank layout. Now if I right click on the layout and I go to layout properties, I could change my sheet size. So instead of using a 17 by 11, if I wanted to go back to 8.5, I can change the properties. Okay, and if I move my cursor around here and you look down here in the status area, you'll see it update now with 11 by 8.5. Okay, so that's uh, one option. I'm going to uh, go over here to Layers, and I wanted to show you Notes too. But Layers has the Detail Layer Current, and I want to add a detail. So one of the ways we can add a detail is by picking this button here, Add Detail, or I can go down here and right-click on the tab and pick New Detail. Okay, if you're adding a detail, to a layout, it's helpful to use a grid snap. And the grid snap is set to pretty big, so I'm snapping at one whole inch unit. But uh, I can create a detail. The uh, And I'm going to create another one. So I'll just make uh, another one here so we can uh, do uh, a little bit of work with uh, details before we do the ones we actually want uh, to keep. The detail is a window into the model. And right now we're looking at the top view of the model. To make a detail active, put your cursor out in the open area here above the detail and double click. When you double click, you can pan and zoom the model. And if you double click again, you'll go back to the layout. So you don't really have to go over to the paper area to double click. You can double click and double click again to return to the layout. Now the view that we're looking at can be changed here in set view. So instead of looking at the top view, if I want to look at the front or the right view of the bottle, I can do that by picking the view. Now I have a different view of the bottle and this one is still set to top. I can stretch out the view and this is why I said uh, to keep your uh, gumball on. So using the gumball widget and picking on the scale markers I can scale the detail. And I can also assign a display mode, shaded, rendered. Double click, double click back in, 
And if I look over here at uh, my layers, I'm noticing this shaded bar. Okay. This shaded bar is the line of demarcation between the settings of the layers for the detail and the setting of the layers for the model. Now, there's one thing that I have going on here that Rhino's remembering. Up here under View, I have my layer view set to view detail layer only. If I pick on all layer settings, then you will see that I have the shaded layers, which are the layer settings for just this detail, or the global or model layer settings. So what I want to do, and just for ease of viewing here, I'm going to set it back to detail layers. And I'm going to turn off in this detail the dimensions. Now if I didn't know what layer the dimensions are on, I can pick on the dimension and look down here and it tells me it's on the dimension layer. But by de-highlighting the dimension, I can see that I'm on the detail layer. That's my current layer. So if you don't know what layer, you can find out very quickly. And I'm going to turn that off in this detail. Likewise here, I can highlight this plane. And the plane that's below the bottle is actually on the text layer for whatever reason. Um, doesn't really matter. Um, at this point, I'm going to hide it in just this detail. But in addition to layer visibility, I can control object visibility per detail using this option. And just um, a little bit of history here. Uh, this was the first way that we were able to control visibility per detail is by object. And then the layer control was added in Rhino 5. There was a bonus tool, by the way, for Rhino 4 that did it, but in general for the core, the uh, layer visibility per detail was added in Rhino 5. So we have a couple really good looking uh, details here that uh, make up this sheet. The uh, details can be copied. You can copy them to the clipboard. You can use the gumball widget, tap the Alt key to uh, copy. You can resize them. You can delete them. Okay. And you can also delete the entire layout. Kind of scary, but uh, it tells you you are permanently uh, deleting it. And this is a practice layout that uh, I have in this model. 